Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working on a Blu-ray player, a Panasonic, model number DMP-BD80. And the problem I'm having with this is uh, it only plays certain Blu-ray discs. Other discs will play fine. Regular DVDs, uh, you can play them all. But on certain DVDs, uh, Blu-ray DVDs, it will not play at all. So uh, we're going to uh, take this out of my entertainment center and uh, we're uh, going to check it out. Before I take it out of the uh, entertainment center, I want to show you exactly what's going on. Uh, here is a uh, Blu-ray disc and we're going to put it in. Hit the check button. It should come out. Okay. And let's put this disc in. It makes weird noises. I don't know if you can hear it, but the laser pickup um, is hesitating. And you can even hear, um, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, you can hear the, uh, the lens is um, bumping on the disc. So what that usually means when it is doing that, uh, it's a bad laser pickup. Um, cleaning and trying to adjust the little uh, pots that are on the laser pickup itself. That's not going to do any good because the laser itself is weak. Okay, let's look at the screen. There we go. Cannot read disc. And it goes um, into uh, a stop mode. Okay. Um, so it will, it will not play this disc. Now, let's put in a disc that it will play. Now, these are dual layer discs, which have like 50 gigabytes of information. Um, they're kind of a, almost kind of a gold kind of color. Um, but, uh, let's get a disc that will play. That's a Blu-ray disc and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, this is a disc that will play uh, on my Blu-ray player. This one will play fine. Here, let's take it out of the case. Like this. And we'll just put it in there like that. And we'll hit the close button there. Okay. Okay, it says it's reading. There it is. And on the TV, it says now reading too. It's now reading. Okay, and you can see it is playing the, um, the disc. Okay. All right. Yeah, there you can see the digital readout. This is a very nice player. Okay, it's it's playing fine. We'll, let's take the disc out. Okay. These kind of discs, I think these are like single layer discs compared to the um, double layer discs, which are needs more information to read. And uh, I think that's why these, these play. Um, you know, sometimes it'll freeze up um, on certain discs. Um, I've had this since 2007. I think I paid a couple hundred dollars uh, for it. Uh, it's been lasting like 13 years. It's, it's um, in my opinion, it's one of the best players that they came out in 2007, I think. But uh, we're going to take this out of this entertainment center. We're going to put it on my bench, and we're going to start disassembling it. And um, we'll go from there. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, 
the Blu-ray player on my bench now. Um, now let's uh, take out the screws off for the back cover. All right, we're going to take the two other screws out. Here's one. Here's another one. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to remove uh, the uh, laser pickup assembly. Uh, we have to remove four screws. There's one. Two, three, and four. Okay. And this should just pop out nice. There we go. Now this is the laser pickup. Okay, let's see, we go a little bit closer, closer, closer. All right. There you go. One, this is the red. And that is for, that's the blue. That's for the Blu-ray. That's the one that's weak. And um, I ordered another one. I ordered another laser pickup. Um, so, okay, let's continue with removing um, the complete uh, laser assembly. We're going to remove four screws. Right. Let me get my other power driver here. All right, and now what we're also you can these these are the two ribbon covers you can remove. They just pull out like this. All right, and this whole thing should just come out real nicely like this. See? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we're gonna. I think we're going to have to pull this tray out. Uh, let me see here. Okay, one thing I'm going to show you before we pull out the tray. I'm going to show you the uh, the laser lasers, the uh, red and blue. Uh, hit the eject. Okay. Let me see. See, there's the red. I don't see the blue flashing, but the other one is the blue. So it's the one we're having the issue with. All right, it's uh, we got to um, eject. That's what we want because we have to get to the laser pickup uh, itself. Take out the. Uh, DVD drive, Blu-ray drive. Let's remove these cables here. Like this. And here we go. 
And what we're going to do, we're going to be changing uh, this pickup here. Here, we'll just flip that down like that. That releases that. Okay. And then I think there's a screw here. It comes on two rods here that support the Blu-ray. and goes back and forth like this. Okay. All right. And we'll just loosen this up. Now we're going to remove this rod here. There we go. Should come out fairly simple. Let's see here. Okay, I got it. There we go. Here we are. There we are. This just slips right out of there. And here it is. Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, well, where can I get this? Well, you can get this um, from... Uh, Actus Express. Here. Let me see here. I ordered this. It took me. Okay. I got it. There we go. Here we are. There we are. This just slips right out of there. And here it is. Okay. So you're probably asking yourself, well, where can I get this? Well, you can get this um, from uh, Actus Express. Here. Let me see here. I ordered this. It took me about a month to get it. Okay. I got it. Here we go. Here we are. There we are. This just slips right out of there, and here it is. Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, well, where can I get this? Well, you can get this um, from uh, Actus Express. Here. Let me see here. I... Okay. I got it. Here we go. Here we are. There we are. This just slips right out of there. And here it is. Okay. So you're probably asking yourself, well, where can I get this? Well, you can get this um, from uh, Actus Express. Here. Here it is. Okay. Comes. All right. Here it is. Optical pickup. Let's open up the box. All right. Get them mixed up here. <laughs> All right. This is the new one. Okay. And the part number on this is a... Let me see if I can... I'll go zoom in on this. BD411POJ. That's P D four eleven P O J. There you go. Takes about a month to get it. 
and uh, it's very reasonable too. You just go online and uh, you, you can get it. All right, now let's put the new one in. Here we go. Let me see here. Alright, let's uh, open it. There it is. Optical pickup. Let's open up the box. step here <laughs> all right this is the new one okay and the part number on this is a let me see if I can oh, I'm gonna zoom in on this BD 411 POJ that's P D four eleven P O J. There you go. Takes about a month to get it, and uh, it's very reasonable too. You just go online, and uh, you, you can get it. All right, now let's put the new one in. Here we go. Let me see here. Uh, open it. There it is. Optical pickup. Let's open up the box. All right. So I want to get them mixed up here. <laughs> All right, this is the new one. Okay, and the part number on this is a, let me see if I can, oh, I'm going to zoom in on this, BD411POJ, that's P D. 411 POJ. There you go. Takes about a month to get it. And uh, it's very reasonable too. You just go online and uh, you can get it. All right, now let's put the new one in. Here we go. Let me see here.
There it is. Optical pickup. Let's open up the box. All right. Get them mixed up here. <laughs> All right, this is the new one. Okay, and the part number on this is a. Let me see if I can. Oh, I'm gonna zoom in on this. BD four eleven POJ. That's P D four eleven P O J. There you go. It takes about a month to get it, and uh, it's very reasonable too. You just go online, and uh, you, you can get it. All right, now let's put the new one in. Here we go. Let's see here. I got it uh, back in. All right, now all we gotta do is put the screw in. Like this. Okay. And here's the ribbon cable. And we'll just... Like this, and just snaps down. That's ready. Nice and smooth. Okay, great. All right. All right, now we're going to put this thing back in. And it should be fine. Okay. There we go. We got the DVD in there. Let's now let's hook up all these cables. So far. Alright. All right, all right, uh, I think that's all you need. Now let's apply power and see what it does. Hey. Ah, see it? See the laser's going. Let's uh, do a close-up. And do this again. See the blue and the red. What? What's going on? What's going on? Yours. There we go. There, here, let's, here, let's, here, let's do a wide shot now. All right, here. Okay, there we go. See the red? 
that's for regular DVDs, the red laser is. And the blue razor, uh, laser is for the uh, Blu-rays. Seems like it's going very bright. Before it looked kind of dim. Okay. All right, that looks good. Now let's um, fasten this down. Okay, well, so far it looks good. It spins freely. Now let's put the cover on. There we go. All right, uh, and I'll be back in a second to get a Blu-ray disc. Be right back. Okay, we got the uh, DVD uh, Blu-ray drive back in, all assembled. Um, now let's uh, let's put a disc in. These are the discs that I was having problems with. Walt Disney's uh, discs. Um, as you can see, these are kind of like a uh, they're d d double layered and. Uh, it was, the laser was weak, and you could tweak all those little pots that you want, like I see in some other videos. Uh, sometimes it'll work, but when it's uh, when the laser is weak uh, like that and just plays some disc and other disc, it doesn't. Um, you can tweak them all day long. It's a weak laser, and it has to be replaced. Um, so, um, okay, uh, let's uh, let's put let's put the uh, here. Let's put this one in. Okay, hit close. Okay. Let's see. There it goes. It's spinning. Okay, let's look at the display. It's reading. All right, there we go. Blue disc. It's all set to go. I'm going to put this all back together, and um, then we're going to play it uh, in my entertainment center, and I'll show you the picture. What do you see? Playing. Great. I couldn't get that to play. I mean, uh, it would keep on hitting the lens. The, uh, you know, it would spin up and then it would start the, the lens uh, of the laser would be uh, hitting the disc. So that wasn't good. Um, okay. Oh, one more thing before I uh, put it back together. Um, if you want, if you want a good deal on getting these lasers. Uh, there's a place that's called Ally Express, A L I E X P R E S S. They're online. Just uh, Google that and um, just put in the part number that's on the back. Uh, I think I already mentioned uh, the part number uh, that uh, it needed, and uh, they'll get they'll get it to you. You know, very reasonable uh, prices. Um, so uh, I'm going to put this back together, and we're going to hook it up and uh, see a picture. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, I got it all set up back in my entertainment center. Now let's go and put a uh, Blu-ray in there. Okay. This would not play at all. Walt Disney stuff is all d double layered. and Okay. Here we go. Put it in there. Okay, it says reading. There it is. There it says I'm now reading on the screen too. All right. Let's take a look, see what we have. Now reading. Be quiet, kitty. <laughs> Just my cat. He's always in the picture. There he is. Okay, uh, it's playing. It's fixed. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. And I'll be uh, uploading some other repair videos on blue uh, um, blue discs. Thank you and. 
Good night. All right. Well, as you can see, it uh, works uh, beautifully. Um, great picture. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll be uploading some more installation um, videos on Blu-ray player repair. Um, thank you. And good night, folks.